This is Rod Nordland reporting for the New York Times from Afghanistan. Today in mazar e sharif crowds of angry Afghans overran the United Nations compound, apparently looking for Americans. Mazar is not a place that's unfriendly to Americans. In fact, it's considered one of the safest places in Afghanistan. Nonetheless, three mullahs stirred up at a mob after Friday prayers, and they went looking for blood and found it, killing at least 12 people, possibly more. It's probably the worst attack that the United Nations has suffered in Afghanistan in these last 10 years, uh, worse even than some of the attacks on the UN by the Taliban, such as the one in Kabul in 2009 that killed 11 people. And what's perhaps even more worrisome is the amount of kind of national support that, that at least the sentiment behind this demonstration had. It was in response to the burning of a Quran by a pastor in Florida with all of 30 followers or so, something that went pretty much unnoticed everywhere else in the world. But this week, President Karzai made a point of denouncing it in a speech. The head of the Ulama Council, which is the highest religious body in Afghanistan, also denounced it and called for this pastor, Terry Jones, to be prosecuted. And that was a theme that the mullahs in Mazar picked up on at Friday prayers and that the crowd you know, translated into violence in the streets. 